Daniel, Matt, cheers for joining me. How are you both? Yeah, good. I'm good. Yeah, great. I thought you would be, because yeah. you're sitting here both as European champions. Unbelievable. Uh, how does that feel? You can start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, it's great. Obviously, we've gone out there to win the tournament, so not just there to turn up or anything, but going out, winning the tournament, and the way we won it, we all, I'm very proud of, proud. Not many people get to go and play in finals like that and experience, yeah. and especially to come out and win it is, is amazing. Danny, where does it rank for you? In your I'm number one. Yeah. Number one so far, hopefully. Hopefully other things can take that number one spot, but nah, like you said, we plan to win it at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of last year, and everything we've done throughout the year was to, to win it, so very happy to do it. I guess, especially in the stages of your careers where so much is about development and stuff like that, to, to have something like this that you can win, obviously we, we've won the competition with the B team this year already, but to have such an illustrious thing on your CV, does it just make you hungry for more? Oh yeah, definitely. Winning tournaments is probably the best winning. It's why we all start football, isn't it? To win. Everyone's dreams of winning the World Cup and stuff. And to achieve winning at such a young age builds and you want more. You always want more. You always want to win and stuff. So, especially coming into a first team and winning, first team wanting to win, win games and win cups, it's, it's a very good start, I'm honest. It's an unbelievable show, I'm actually grateful. Come on, you've got your medals. Let me, I want to see these medals. Ridiculous. Oh, look at that. That is unbelievable. What are you both going to do with these? Show them for the camera. Get on, get on, Daniel. So what are you going to do with them? Frame. Yeah? I'll frame it with my shirt. Boots as well. Still your boots. A little photo. Yeah. yeah, what are you going to yeah. do with Yeah, those? definitely get them framed. Hung up somewhere in the house or something. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about that night. I want to go back to, to maybe the build-up to it. When did you both find out you were playing? When did you find out? Oh, it would have been the same time, right? Day before, yeah. 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 Day before. For me, it was a bit different, in and out. Um, leading up, so. I no, worked hard, isn't it? And I made a big impact against Italy in the semis, so I thought it was deserved and I, I got what I deserved. What's that emotion like, when you first find out you're playing in the Euros? Well, obviously you're over the moon and stuff. You want to straight away tell your family and everything because obviously you're starting and it's probably, well, like the manager said, it's probably the biggest games of most of the players so far in career to play in a final, a semi-final like that. So you're overwhelmed to be playing and obviously you've got to treat it like a normal game though. you can't hype yourself up too much because that's when like, you get nervous and you start to worry and you don't need any of that in the competition. Yeah. Did you, is it hard not to get carried away with it? Because I, I get, I'm buzzing if I've got a Sunday game, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you're playing in the, in the European Championship final. It, it, are you all like around the group saying like we've got a calm or is it, is it yeah. unless I mean, you don't need to say it? When we found out we got Israel in the final instead of France, we were happy that we had to stay calm because they must have been a good team to, to beat France, so we had to prepare the same way and, and just make sure that we weren't getting too ahead of ourselves and the game showed that it was a tough game. Was he nervous even? Yeah, I was. Yeah. A bit nervous, but... Once the ball, once the game starts, you're all right. It's yeah. more of the build-up. But once the, ball, once the whistle blows, you start running around, it just feels like a normal game. You were saying before that, especially in your role, if you look nervous or you look, you've got to remain calm. Or if you get yeah. even too excitable, being a goalkeeper, that can that can creep into the rest of the squad. Right? Yeah, as a keeper, you've got to be calm because if if you're like nervous or overexcited or like kind of stressed out, it kind of like travels through the team and it can cause cause problems and stuff. So it's like the first few passes, just keep it simple almost and just do your basics. So everyone's just calm and cool and builds into the game almost. So we get to the game and Israel and. I was watching it, this, yeah. right. they started well, didn't they? They started really well. What's going through your mind then, at that point, Daniel? Just stay in the game, that's the most important thing. Once you go behind, you have to stay in the game. And then we knew we had the, the quality to overcome any, any team. So, same way in the semi-finals, 1-0 down against Italy, win the game. So, we knew we could do it. We just had to stay in the game once we go one down, make sure we don't concede again, lock it up and then start building again from, from the beginning, so just do the basics while well, you know, our quality was shining through. And I know here, speaking to, to Neil and Sam, one thing that's really instilled is when things maybe aren't going your way, just keep to your principles. Yeah. Obviously in that semi and the final, you've had to go behind first, so was that a big thing, drawing on the experience from here and what you've learned from Sam and Neil, Matthew, going into that game? Yeah, 100% was to keep, because we'd gone, we hadn't, before this competition, we hadn't gone, gone behind as an age group, so we didn't know, the manager didn't know how we'd react to it, but it said to us, like, it probably will happen at some point, and if you come back, you will be able to win games, because obviously, 
with our quality as a team, no one will be able to keep us out. Like, we will create chances. Yeah. So it's obviously sticking to the game plan, sticking to our basics and our principles, and we will get chances and we will overcome almost any team, which we did. So. And I imagine tournament football is hard graph anyway. Yeah. It goes to extra time. Again, relaying it back to the B team here, I know how fit you guys are in that B team. Did that help you, you both out in, in those conditions? Yeah, definitely. I think as well, we had a few days off and then we went back in, so it wasn't, we never really came out the loop. We were always in the loop, so I think that helped as well, just coming off the end of the season and going straight back in. I think, you know, what we do here helped us obviously do what we did at England and helped us win the Euros, so yeah. we're just happy. And then the celebrations. But my first thing, like, it was a bit of a nightmare for you, the celebrations, wasn't it? Yeah. Talk to me about I got dragged out, got drug tested straight after the game, so <laughs> missed all the celebrations in the change rooms and stuff. But. <laughs> oh, mate, livid. Mm. Absolutely livid. So you're just sat there and you just got yeah, basically, you can, can you hear it going on as well, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were buzzing that you didn't get picked. Yeah, I didn't even realise that you got to it. Oh, jeez! <laughs> didn't even notice he wasn't there! <laughs> but then, but you, you were allowed out for the trophy lift, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Because I see you in there, and the first thing I've seen, you, right, there. <laughs> right in the middle. Like, were you like, I'm, cause you all could get your phones, I take it. Was you like, I'm definitely going to film the trophy lift? Yeah, no, we got told to capture that moment for England as well. So oh, nice. it went up on, on England social media as well. Oh, that's nice. And yeah. you stick in the WhatsApp after. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a Euros WhatsApp, have you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> At least, well, I don't want to know about the celebration <laughs> videos that went in there. Um, so, yeah, so getting onto that. So, uh, did you both have family over there as well? So, were you looking for them at the full time whistle? And how did it feel when you, when you bump into them? Yeah, for me, it was buzzing. All my family and friends were there. So, it was, it was, it felt so real. Like, it was amazing. So, nah. I'm grateful for them coming over because it's not the most glamorous place to go to, but it was it was a great game and, and we put on a show for them and won. Yeah. So that's what's most important. At that full time whistle, is that where you're looking? Because it must be a lot of emotions. I like. Forgot about them. Yeah. <laughs> you, forgot about, you forgot about that? You forgot about that? You forgot about that? You forgot about I was just like just happy that we won, so I was focused on like, with, like the trophies. <laughs> And then I got a call on my phone to come over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgot you, Marie. Yeah. Uh, what about for you, Matt? Yeah, obviously, one well, of the first reactions we've won, like everyone's together as a team and stuff, obviously, everyone going together. <laughs> then, like, after the trophy lift and stuff, like, you start realizing, like, my family were here and going over to find them in the crowd and go to speak to them and stuff. But it's a great feeling to like, be able to win and just have your family who've obviously sacrificed a lot for most players to be where they are now, to go and see them after and yeah. spend some time with them. Amazing. Let's talk about the camp in general because, again, I'll never get to go on a camp like this, but I imagine it's, it's probably quite intense. Everyone dreams of going on these camps, but yeah. are they, they hard work, Daniel, as well? No, they are, 100%. The, team, the team's togetherness is, is like no other England team I've played in, so it's, it helps a lot, but it is intense. You're with each other all the time. You, know, you never really get away from it. You know, you might have a bad session, and you're around everyone that you've had a bad session with, but it's, it is what it is. You have to, there's always tomorrow, and that's what football is. You have a bad game, there's always a game. And tournaments, there's a game every two, three days, so there's always a chance to redeem yourself. So you just have to stay level headed, never get too high, never get too low. I guess at the same time, it's handy when, when you were flying and yeah. clean sheet after clean sheet, and it's just like you're just yeah. desperate for that next game. But yeah. You, you mentioned it earlier, Daniel, about the break. Matt, what was it like? So then you have a, a few days off, you said you didn't really lose the cycle, but then when you come back in, do you need to get a little bit up to speed? And what's that like, that pre-tournament kind of session? Yeah, we had a very decent pre-tournament, like it was a full-on fitness, mm. lots of tough, tough sessions. Okay. They did, I think that just did do the one, yeah. keepers didn't have to, we got out of it. Yeah, you would always get out of the one, <laughs> okay. But yeah, one it was a tough, tough tournament. We managed to get an in-house against the seniors in, which which was very good for us to play yeah. against players of that quality going into a tournament. That's amazing. How did you get on against against the seniors at an individual level? Yeah, personally, I think yeah, I, I personally played well. I yeah, so it's, it's, obviously we lost, but it was it was, it was a very good game and a great experience. And then in these tournaments, again, you're playing against teams obviously from all around Europe, and again, bringing it back to the B team, has that helped when you guys have gone away and you're, you're playing against different styles that isn't maybe 
the same that you play domestic week in, week out here. And when you're going out, you would have played against different ways of playing football. Does that help, man? Travelling the world and playing against opposition such as like Monaco and Bromby, all the play teams you play out in Portugal, playing against different play styles gets us ready for that because every nation is completely different. Obviously they'll play, have similar traits and stuff, but every game's completely different all over. So it's very good travelling around facing these opposition and it almost prepared us very well for the for the Euros. Yeah, 100%. It was, it was phenomenal when you now join a very illustrious company. I was looking at the people that have won this, like even going back like Sol Campbell, Robbie Fowler, um, then recent years Mason Mount won it and our very own Josh De Silva of course won it in Mason Mount's age group. Daniel, for you, looking at someone like Josh who's now playing regularly for the first team, how inspiring is it to see such a, a mirrored career path for yourself? Yeah, no, it, it shows it can be done, which is important, you know. I think when seeing what I want to do with my career and what young players want to do with their career, having someone that is accessible, someone near you that's done it and is doing it is, is very important. So. To have Josh there, and, and Josh is a great guy, he helps all the young players uh, here at Brentford, so having Josh there as a role model to, to try and aspire to be like and, and play in the first team with is, is, is great and it's what I want to do. Amazing, well that's what I was going to get into next, aspirations going forward, you've got the World Cup as well yeah. on the horizon, so, so Matt, 12 months, what are you looking to yeah, so achieve? Obviously as, as a team, obviously we want to play for the first team and stuff. But obviously, as, as an age group as well as our England age group, we want to win the World Cup as well. We've won the Euros. And like we said, we didn't enter that just to make up the numbers and take part. We're there to win the competition. So we've got a year to prepare to win, win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Can't wait, lads. Well, look, yeah. Looking forward to it. It's an amazing time to be an England fan. We've got a lot of talent coming yeah. through. And yeah, well, congratulations again. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. When we, you know, when I was driving in uh, Thursday morning, you know, we felt okay, fresh head, ready to uh, to go again. And then I was just so happy seeing people, and uh, I actually be became even more happier during the game because of the energy, the, um, especially the boys gave when they come in. You can see they were smiling, hugging, high fiving.